Hello guys out there. Welcome back to another craft video. But first of all, I got to give an honor to God who's the head of my life. Can't do this life without him. And I hope you guys are blessed and highly favored out there tonight. So I'm still working in this book. I'm trying to challenge myself. Uh, can I get done with this book within a week? So I'm getting ready to do a collage in here and I wanted to come uh, come on here and share with you guys. You know, I'm just now learning how to do collages. Uh, so every time I get in the middle of my signature, like right here, this is where I'm going to uh, do my collage at. Yes, I'm comfortable. Got on my little comfortable sweater. Actually, this sweater was my mom's sweater, guys. Yes, I wear it all the time. But I'm going to try my hand at this once again. Another collage. Yep, I finally got my craft room, actually the whole room together. Thank God for that. Yes. All right, I'm going to see how I'm going to do this because basically... I want to put a butterfly on this page. And I got three signatures in here. And all three signatures, I want to put put a pretty butterfly in between the, uh, the signatures. So, I'm going to try this once again, guys. See how it's going to turn out. So, I think I want to kind of put that one there. Let me see. And that one there. Kind of want to cover that up a little bit like that. Yeah, I like that. So, let's commit to that, guys. Yeah, I've been kind of crafting here and there um, all day. Hands probably have glue and stuff all over them. But, um... Yeah, I've been just crafting. I got to do some more sewing, um, stuff like that. Yes, yes, yes. So I said, I'm going to get this. I'm going to learn how to collage. <laughs> it takes a couple of tries, but hey, we will get it eventually. Well, I will get it eventually, you know. Yes, yes, yes. But it was something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, yeah, because, you know, the last time I was on camera and we had a chit-chat, uh, I was letting you guys know, you know, telling you guys to clean your houses out. Now, I would be wrong if I don't tell you the next, what to do, the next step, because, you know, you got folks out there, you know, I done been saved, you know, uh, a, a couple years now. And um, you have a lot of baby Christians out there that, you know, don't, you know, oh, it's just a lot because it. That's why they go. They that backslide. Look at my words. Can't even get my words out. That's why a lot of baby Christians backslide because most folks tell them, you know, you already done messed up. You 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 know you done done this. You done done that. That ain't nothing but the devil. That ain't nothing but the devil. We all. First of all, I want to say to all the baby saints out there. Ain't none of us perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. We're not going to be perfect until God get back here. So let that be known right now. Ain't none of us perfect. And that is the honest to God truth. We all make mistakes. So if you make a mistake, you just make sure you get on your knees and you repent every day. I repent every day. I have to repent every day. Mm -hmm. That don't, you know, mean you going around doing this, but you just, you have to repent because you don't never know. You We, we don't know when God is coming back. So I'm going to take this little piece right here and fold that like that. 
And I am going to glue this, put this down. What I'm trying to do is cover up the eyelets, guys. So let me shake that. But um, the next step is once you clean out your house, guys, now you got to get, you know, ask your pastor or a missionary, or you can even do this yourself. Pray over your home. You can do it yourself. Get you some anointing oil. If you don't have no anointing oil, you know, you can get some from your church or you can make some, put some oil in a vase. Pray and ask God to bless that oil for you so you can anoint your home. That's right. Nowadays, you cannot trust taking a lot of things from people because you don't know what these folks is praying over this stuff. So it's best, you know, and God will understand. God will bless you if you uh, put some olive oil, vegetable oil, as long as it's oil, in a little container, pray over it, and, and, and ask God to bless that oil so you can bless your home. He will. He really, really will. So, let me see where I want to put this sticker at. Let me put this about right there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to commit to that. But you, yeah, you get you some blessed oil. Anoint your doors, your windows, your house. Pray over your house. Because once you do clean your house out and get rid of all that stuff, now you want that peace in your home. Yes, you do. And I promise you, God will come in your home and dwell. The Holy Spirit will come in there and dwell. And it is so, so peaceful. But I'm going to tell you one thing. You know, like I said, I don't... I've been through a lot. And uh, I only speak on things that I've been through. And I'm going to just say it like this. When the devil can't get to you, he gets goes to the next person that's close to you. Be very careful about that, guys. Very careful. Because he will go to your children. Whoever is close to you, that's where he's going. And he's going to aggravate you. You thinking uh, you just bumping head with your children or your husband. You got to think about that thing again. Because you bumping heads with, with this is spiritual warfare out here. What we're having. Isn't this gorgeous, guys? This butterfly. I think it's simply gorgeous. So I'm going to put this butterfly. Oh, man. You can't even see the, the sticker. Okay. We got to take that off. Thank God it'll come back up. So I at least want to be able to see it. But, um, yeah, guys, with spiritual warfare out here, and trust, trust and believe, uh, if the devil can't get to you, he gonna get the next person close to you. That mean your child, your husband. You know, trust, trust me. It happened to me. It sure did. A couple years ago, when, you know, I gave my life over to the, to the Lord, I mean, my faith was so strong to where Satan couldn't touch me. So he went to my daughter. And oh my God, you talking about warfare? Jesus. That's all I can say. Warfare. Yeah, I'm putting, I'm going to put them right there. It was warfare. Mm-hmm. Yes. My daughter and me, you know, and I knew what it was. That's why I say never give up on your kids. Never, ever give up on your children. Because sometimes Satan can be working through your own children and you don't, you're not even paying attention. Mm-hmm. And listen to your children. If something they telling you that sounds far-fetched, listen to them. Listen to them babies. 
They don't have no reason to lie to you. They really don't. All right, let's get this down. I hope this collage come out cute. But anywho, y'all, uh, uh that's the second step. Get you some anointing oil and pray over your home. Usher the Holy Spirit into your home so the Holy Spirit can dwell within your home every day. And if you do do something, I'll do something. None of us is perfect. Look at this. I cut this out to put on this. I know I'm going to have to cut it down some. I don't even want to cut it down. But just to let you guys know that uh, you're gonna you're gonna be fine. Don't let the devil get in your ear and say, "See, you done made that mistake," because he will whisper in your ear some crazy stuff. No, you don't. You're not gonna take that. We all make mistakes. We sure do. You just ask God to forgive you, and you keep going, and you keep going. Now, don't be out there not trying to just uh, sin. Uh-uh. Now, if you doing that, you might as well go ahead and stay on out there, you know, do what you're going to do. But if you really tr trying to uh, walk with the Lord, he will understand. We all make mistakes. I mean, it's not, you know, every day, you don't, you know, this thing don't happen overnight. That walk takes time. It takes time to surrender, you know. It takes time to let go of everything. Some people can do it all in one day. And some people, God takes uh, his time with. So... You just have to, it's, it's up to him. His will must be done, not ours. So I'm just letting you guys know that uh, don't feel bad if you make a mistake out there. We all do. You know, you just every night get on your knees and, and pray and ask God to forgive you. You know, just don't make it a, a habit every single night. <laughs> That you're making this a habit. Let me see. How do I want to put this? Hmm. Look like I'm going to have to just get a smaller sticker and put up under here. I might have to. I'll put the fine that thing and put back on there. So let me cut this over here. But guys, yeah. I didn't want to just leave everything, you know. The way, you know, just tell you guys, clean out your house and don't give you uh, the second step to this thing. Because, hey, when people give their life to Christ and they're new at all of this, they really don't know what to do. And um, because I know that was me. That was me. When I first got in the church, you know, if it wasn't for, you know, my auntie, I wouldn't know what to do. You know, she really helped me out a great deal with my walk. Yes, she did. But like I said, it's it's it's, it's not gonna happen overnight. You keep striving. You keep striving. You keep going. You keep moving. Every day you get up and and you choose to serve God every single day. Let's see what we can put this at, because I really don't want to leave this out. If I can lift this butterfly up. Let me see. The glue done. Oh, that glue. Stuck it down. Let me see something. If I can put that right there. I don't think that would look too bad. It kind of looked like the... Um, Butterfly is behind a flower. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> but just wanted to tell you guys, you know, the next step, get anoint your home and pray for, pray through your house. And uh, the Holy Spirit will dwell in there. And um, 
if you, you know, living with other people, you know, you God would deal start dealing with them in his own in in his time. You know. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. Spiritual warfare is at a high right now. It really is. Let's see what I want to put on here next. Let's see. Let me see. I know I cut me out some stickers over here so I can um, put on my page here. But I still want to, like, put something... This time, I'm not going to tear paper. I'm just going to... Hmm, cut it straight this time. Hmm. Cut it down just a little bit more. But yeah, guys took my medicine and getting ready to after I get done. I've been in my craft room um, for a while. And I said, let me, while I'm in here, I might as well uh, show them. I'm, this is my last page I'm going to do, and I'm going to call it for myself. And uh, like I say, be in here practicing my collagen and all that good stuff like that. But, um, all right, let me start putting my flower stickers on here now. But I just want y'all to know that second step, especially for baby Christians just now getting into this walk and, um, need to know, uh, a few things. Don't be scared to ask questions, guys. I mean... You have a lot of people out there who w is willing to help. Oh, man. That's long stuck like that. A lot of people out there is willing to help and answer your questions. Even if you want to uh, ask me a question, you know, I'm not going to bite your head off. <laughs> you know, my email is, if you want to talk to me in private, email me. My email is in the description box. Email me, and um, we could talk about it, guys. We could talk about it. Because I know it's a lot of people that's out there, private people. And um, I understand that, too. Trust and believe I do. So, um, everybody, you know, it's, it's just warfare now. And, ooh. You got to be, you got to uh, fight it. You got to fight it with the word. You got to fight it with the word. If you don't fight it with that word, you're going to be messed up. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure. So, you got to put the whole armor of God on, guys, in this day and age. Because these people out here is not playing. Mm -hmm. I hope this, I think it's going to be cute. I love the butterfly of it. Just bringing it all together, you know, here, there. Um, and stamp. Okay, I like it right there. Mm-hmm. So that way the brads won't be seen in the middle of the, the book here. Just do one big collage. Let me take this off of here. I wasn't going to be before you guys that long tonight because I'm a little tired myself. So um, I'm going to get off of here, have me something for dinner, and uh, do a little bit of reading and I'm going to call it an early night for myself. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the TV be looking at me sometimes. <laughs> it happens. 
Mm-hmm. Sure do. But um, just want to let y'all know y'all can make it. Y'all can make it out there. Just want to let you encourage y'all. Baby saints, don't let it get to you. It's not that bad. God got you. Trust me. God got you. He's not going to let you go. Uh -uh. And don't go back. Don't go back out there. Because you might not make it back. Mm -mm. You might not make it back next time. And I don't want to see none of you. Uh, stay, stay in in the safety zone. That's what I call it. Stay in the safety zone. All right. Let me see. I'm gonna put. I don't want to put too many labels down here, but we will see. What collage? You could just go on and on and on with these collages. Hmm. I want to put that right here, right there. I think I want to put it right there. Yes, you can. Oh, my labels is falling on the floor. I'm going to do one more label. Or maybe two more. Two more. And uh, then put some flowers on it. And I'm going to call it. Yeah, you can hear it in my voice, guys. Yeah, I'm a little tired. And I'm going to get me some rest. And uh, get up. Because I get up early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one on a little crooked. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's get this one on here. Let's see where I want to put this one at. Right across here. All right, I think that's going to be it for that one. Let's see one more. I think the labels do bring it out. I really do. I'm liking the butterfly thing. The, 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 mm -hmm. It's better than my last one, the under the sea one. <laughs> oh, that was a mess, but that's all right. That is all right. All right, let me see which way this one go. I'm trying to follow the way the writing is going here. All right, let's put some flowers on here. Let's go purple. And I am going to call it... Call it, call it, call it. No people today. <laughs> if I would have put a... No, she wouldn't have looked right. I was thinking about putting her... No. She wouldn't look right. Not at all. Just put a couple of flowers around here and there. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys have a beautiful night tonight when I get off of here in a minute. Hope you guys a beautiful night. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad this week has been uh, slow for me. And I'm hey, I'm grateful for that. Trust and believe. But trust me, it will pick back up. So when it's nice and slow, I love it. Mm -hmm. 
It's been a while since I've just been in my craft room all day. Yes, yes, yes. It's been a minute. Alright guys, I probably, when I get off of here, I am know I'm going to put more flowers on this. But, uh, yeah. Mm, I don't want to cover that. Hmm. All right, guys, what do you think about this collage right here? I think it came out better than my other one, though. <laughs> All right, guys, I am getting ready to call it. But like I said, guys, remember, baby saints out there, do not, uh, don't get discouraged if you make a mistake now. All you got to do is uh, ask God to forgive you, and he will. Don't let the devil talk you, you know. Don't let the devil whisper them things in your ear because it's not true. Trust me, it is not true. He will try anything to get, get after you. You keep your head up. You stay encouraged. You ask the Holy Spirit to guide and lead you in all things. And I mean all things. So on that note, like I always say, keep your head up, stay strong, and keep the faith. You got to keep that faith, guys. And stay safe out there, guys. And I will connect with you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, what do you guys think about the collage? I, yeah, it do look better than my last one. <laughs> I'm getting there now. I'm getting there. I only got two more collages to do. And uh, I'll be done with the middle of my signature. So, I'm coming quite along in my book here. This page right here, that's beautiful. I like that cuts up of this page but it's coming together now I go on to my second signature and uh that'll be that so all right guys I will connect with you guys in my next video I'm gonna eat and I'm going to sleep good night y'all